Okay, do they give you diagrams here? No, I don't see the diagrams, but they do give you break-even point. Okay, so break-even point is a calculation. Um, it's a formula that you need to know when doing calculations relating to fixed costs um, and the contribution that you're going to be deriving from the sale of a, uh, a particular unit. Right, so the formula that I use here for break-even point in units is as follows. Fixed costs divided by, uh, let's get the, where's that denominator line, there's it, copy, okay, so it's fixed costs over selling price, SP, minus variable cost, VC. Okay, so that's the formula for break-even point in units. Right, you'll see in the textbook, um, they talk about a contribution per unit. Contribution per unit is just referring to what I wrote, here, wrote there. It's just a fancy way of describing that. Okay, so like just the selling price minus the variable cost, variable cost. Yes, but it's per unit. Okay. Right, that's why it's contribution per unit. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, you've got a formula that looks very similar on page 37. Okay, break-even point, total fixed cost divided by the contribution per I unit. Just remember the contribution per unit is that. Selling price minus variable cost. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. okay. All right, so that's the formula. Um, if you want break-even point in RANDs, BEP, brackets in RANDs, in sales volume, uh, well, sales re revenue. Okay, you don't have to learn a new equation. All you have to do is just take the break-even point bracket in units and just multiply it by the selling price. Right, you'll get the same answer. So those are the two equations that you need for this particular section. Okay. Okay, got that. Yes. All right, let's do an example. I'm looking at activity 3.4 on page 39. Okay, yes, I see it. Okay, so I'm not going to work out all of it. It's quite a long um, exercise. I'm just going to work out the first one, the break-even point, and then we can look at the rand and the value. Is that okay? That's fine. Yes. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use this formula. Copy-paste. Okay, the first thing I need to work out is the fixed cost. Do they give me the fixed cost in this particular question? Yes, they do. They tell me that the fixed costs are only for manufacturing overheads. Do you see that? Yeah, so 200,000. Yeah, they've given you an extract of the uh, internal accounting of the, of the business. 200,000 is correct. Right, so you would have 200,000 at the top here. And you'll divide that by selling price minus variable cost. Do they give that to you? Variable cost. Uh, selling price, I see. Do you see it? Yeah. How I, much I is it? Uh, selling, so, um, selling, it's 20 rand. Good. Okay, variable cost they don't give you, right? So you need to work it out. Yeah. Total variable costs. So would it be, would it be, would it be cost like that, uh, the 120? Yeah, divided by the units. Yeah. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So the total variable costs were, uh, what's the total variable? We need to add it up. Yeah, so. Uh, Three sixty. Agreed. Divide by for 40,000. Okay, gives you unit variable cost. Nine. Did you get the same answer? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, so 20 minus nine Okay, is in the denominator. Solve for the break-even point in units. Do 
200,000 divided by open brackets, 20 minus 9, close brackets, you get that. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that, that's right, yes. All right, it should be the same as what they've got in their textbook. Let's check their textbook and see if it's right. Uh, let's have a look. Break even point in sales units. The total fixed cost. Okay, I see they've included an extra 60,000. Did I miss 60,000 here? Oh, yes, I did. Read the question carefully. Um, I didn't look at the selling and admin. Do you see that? Okay, yes, yes. Okay, just selling be careful. And yeah, just read the question carefully. Um, I made a mistake with the fixed cost. We need to include the selling and admin. There were two. I was just looking at the, the first part of the question, not the second part. No, okay, I think the variable cost needs to change as well because it's 40,000 yeah. for the selling and admin. Yes. Okay, so we need to adjust that as well. Uh, so we need to show another amount here, plus 40. Okay, let's update this working. Okay, gives you 400,000. 400,000 divided by 40 is 10. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, great. So we can substitute that in. So we need to change the 9 to a 10. And then we'll get 260,000 divided by 20 minus 10 gives you 26,000 units. Okay, that's in line with textbook. Happy with what they've got. Yes, yes. Okay, right. And then we just need to write down that in RAND value. Then you just take your units and you multiply it by the selling price. It's as easy as that. And then okay. you get, the, yeah, that will be the RAND value. Happy with that? Yes. So, okay, 500. so 520,000 RAND in terms of the break even points. Make sense? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and that's this chapter. Right, okay. that's cost, volume, profit. Um, there's a lot of activities here. So as I said, please try yes. them. Um, see but, how they go. And then if you have specific questions that you need me to go over with you in detail, we can look at it next week. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm even after after we're done, I'm, I'm still, I'm going to go for another, maybe another two hours, three hours after. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do see something else here Just, in the textbook. For chapter for study unit three, I see they've given you a note here about margin of safety. Hi there, margin 42. of safety. Okay, let's write down the formula for that. Okay, so when you look at margin of safety, margin of safety, just to summarize the theory, is basically looking at the additional amount that you have that's above break even. Okay, so think of the word safety. Right, we've got more than we actually need. Yeah. Okay, so margin of safety as a formula. Uh, we can use the one here. The, the, these ones are fine. Total sales in units minus break-even point in units. Right, all divided by the total sales. So you would have to you, you would you would work out the margin of safety after you've worked out break even break even hundred percent. Okay. You have to have break even have before you can work out the margin of safety because margin of yeah. safety is break uh, is is calculated based on the break even points. Okay. That's right. Okay. Uh, let's just see what else they've given you here. Uh, okay, target profit analysis. Those are just equations relating to what you should be aiming for. Um, it's the same as break-even point, but the only thing different here is... See, have a look. What does break-even point say? Well, break-even point basically says I make zero profit, so plus zero. Do you agree? Yeah, because that's where your where your your profits actually match your expenditure. So Correct. you have your profit is zero. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. So now you can change the ratio. You can give it a different name, but it's the same thing. It's basically just called a target. Okay, sales target. Okay. Right. And what is the sales target going to be? Well. 
the sales target is just going to be your, your fixed costs plus whatever profit you're wanting. See, that's the only thing different. Right, so it's basically just the break-even formula, but instead of zero, you're adding a specific amount. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, here, break-even point has zero profit. That's why I add zero. Okay, and then that's why, yeah, you're adding an estimate amount. Yeah, because, because you want a target, you don't want the break-even. Okay. okay, that's more maths than um, more than management accounting. It's just it's just two different formulas, but it's using the same basis. Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Right, I see they have given you a diagram. I'm just showing the break-even point, which is great. Um, just look at the theory on page 45. Okay, see diagram. Okay. Um, that just explains what we were talking about earlier in terms of break-even. Okay. Uh, maybe just to summarize, break-even point, BEP, is when total revenue equals total costs. That's basically what break-even is representing. Make sense? Yes, 100%. Okay, and then you've got a summary, and then you've got some additional exercises that you can make use of um, just to practice that specific section. Uh, but in terms of theory, that's what they're covering there. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, no, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely go over all of that. Yeah, I'll just go over all let me, yeah, let me know if you want to go over specific sections in more detail, uh, or if you want me to expand on anything specific that we've looked at um, in this particular chapter. Sure. Okay. So my plan is to try. I'm going to try do pretty much. I know it can't be done in a week, but I'm going to try do as much as I can. I want to try finish it. Sure. So at least I know do the whole module, and I can say right. I need. With this, and yes. then and maybe that stuff I can, yeah. Correct, it's good.